What is up, Eastern Oregon? Dodsy here. Uh, I'm with uh, Jerry Hawkins. Uh, Loveland Safe Ride. It's uh, New Year's Eve. Right now it's 11.17 p.m. We just did our first uh, ride of the night. And I mean, it's crazy. I didn't, I, I mean, I kind of felt like people would be really willing to, um, that, to, to help out the program. That last group, they throw you a $20 bill, man. Throw you a $20 bill, tell us how much they love us. You know? So awesome. Yeah, it's, you know, wasn't, our, the, wasn't their first time in the rig. <laughs> Well, yeah, that was very apparent. Um, yeah. Um, so, what does this mean to you, Jerry? Like, well, you know, this means that, you know, I don't want to see no DUIs out tonight or no accidents. You know, we're out here to make sure we save our community from, uh, you know, drinking and driving. Uh, it's, you know, it's deep in my heart and, and Kevin Loveland's also. It's, uh, it's such an amazing program. We've been doing it for 21 years, hauled over 110,000 people. It's, uh, the program gets stronger every year. That's crazy too. And, and, and like Kevin talks about, you know, the DUIs have gone down. So the funding, you know, what originate the original funding was from the impact fund, right? Yes. And so that fund, because the amount of DUIs have gone down, that fund kind of depleted. Exactly. I mean, you know, you look 15, 16 years ago, union stock show, you'd have 10, 12 DUIs during a weekend. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh. I heard this that. year there was none. None. Zero. No, none. And that's our goal tonight, you know. So the cops can go home early because I'm out and three other guys are out, you know. That's so awesome. I'll look at the news and records first thing in the morning and when I see no DUIs, it just makes me happy. What about the vehicle? What are we in here? What we are, are we driving? We are driving a 2022 uh, Grand Wagoneer. Um, this thing's sweet. Donated from Legacy Dodge. You know, we got Legacy Ford donates a rig, Goss Motor Company uh, donates a rig, Kenny from the other guys donates a rig. They support this program so much. We we can't do all the events without the help of our community. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, uh, Who else we got driving tonight? We got Jake Brown. So here I am with uh, Jake Brown. He's another one of the drivers for uh, Loveland Safe Ride. Jake, how did you get involved with it? Uh, six years ago, my neighbor was Ryan Chachis. Oh, yeah. And uh, it was a stock show, and he asked if I wanted to drive, and I said, yeah. Six years you've been doing it. Um, yep. <clears throat> uh, what does it mean to you now? Like, like. Uh, obviously, the getting people home safe is super fun uh, and, and important, but getting to meet all the new people and uh, getting to see the, the, new, the new faces, but also the old faces from uh, stock shows and rodeos and uh, making new friends and um, and they they rely on you. They know if you're gonna be there and uh, they feel safe. And that's that's what's I think most satisfying to me is is the thank yous and the, uh, we appreciate it and all that great stuff. Yeah, it's a, it, this, this program, uh, what is it, going on 20 years? I think it is 20 Yeah, years. it's pretty much 20, yeah. Um, we One of the things Kevin and I talk about uh, a lot is like, you can't even put a number monetarily or life's yeah the impact that this program has. yeah i agree it's crazy man they, they had a they there's the statistic that really sticks out to me the most is there like there's one year and, and it might have been right when it first started or the year before there were 17 duis on stock show weekend you know how many there were this this year uh -uh. not one. Oh, that's awesome not one yeah that's and it's not because they're not trying to find them. I mean, the law enforcement's out they're there out. Yeah. They're hitting it hard, and uh, which is awesome as well. I mean, they're doing their job, and um, if, if they're not catching them, that means that we're making an impact. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah. Uh, Jake Brown, everybody, yeah, appreciate it. Mr. Ryan Chachis. So uh, how'd you get involved? How'd you get involved in the safe area? Uh, Beave asked me years ago. How long have you been was, doing it? Uh, I've been I've been doing it for fifteen years. However long since they started, the year after they started, I got into it. Oh really? Yeah. Holy macro. Yeah, I took when I went to work on the road. I took a little break, but uh, started back up when I came back to work. It's awesome. Yeah, it's been fun. It's awesome. What's your best story? Give me your best story from from a ride. Uh, I. I actually right here on this bench I dropped a guy off and he laid on that bench right there for about 
I don't know, five or six trips past and I just stopped. It was, uh, can I say names? No, I, w I mean, I wouldn't say uh, I I dropped him, came back by and his wife was with him. She's like, nope, he's not ready. <laughs> about four or five times more and finally he was like, yep, I think I can make it. And I had to haul him just about another five blocks and he, he was, he was, it was rough. But it was a rough night. It was a rough night. But it was funny. She was just laughing like I felt terrible for her. Nice. But yeah, there's, yeah, there's, it's always entertaining. You can't really, uh, I mean, just people being drunk. Yeah. So 15 years, that's crazy. And you took a little break. Um, why, why'd you, why'd you do it? Like, why, why did you want to? Uh, it just, honestly, like it was, we were, it was when Sam was little. And so we weren't going to the rodeos and we weren't like going out partying. So I just was like, well, I might as well make some money and go get people a ride home, you know, and make sure everybody gets home safe. And it was kind of crazy because the first probably two years that we did it, you on the way to stock show was where we started. And you'd see people pulled over like constantly on the, on the way there and on the way back, like people pulled over all the time. And as we got bigger like at first it was just two rigs and then it was three rigs and then they started doing four rigs over there and you the 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 DUIs like just went down like crazy Absolutely. Or, or, or the people that you know you're seeing get pulled over at least where it, yeah. was, it was stopping like it was it was, and that was awesome you know and that's what it's all about is keeping people safe for sure it's an amazing program really like I love how passionate Kevin is about it yeah I mean, obviously, it's close to home for him. Right. He's got a real good reason to. Yeah. Have and he talks it. about it openly. I mean, oh, yeah. one of his friends got behind the wheel drunk and killed himself. I mean, yeah. it's, and it's, uh, it's something that he's super passionate about. And we, we like to talk about like when we have Kevin on the show with Cody and I, we're like, we can't even predict how how much money and how many lives this program is saved. I, I, I you yeah. Can't. No, I agree because it's it's. Of just the amount of people we've hauled, you know what I mean? If, if you, even a few of those have, have wrecks or have DUIs, I mean, that's a year. That's a huge number by the end of the, the amount of time that that's gone on. Absolutely. And, and DUIs impact families. It, not, you know, just, even if they people don't wreck, drunk driving affects families monetarily when you get pulled over, right? A DUI ends up costing $10,000, right? right? Oh, yeah. Or if somebody's injured, you know, like just the impact on families in, in our community too. Like, just, it's, it's it's huge, man. It's it really like I, I wish every town had a program like this. Yeah, it's it is it's a great program, and for him to just show up and kind of start it, you know, on his own is a is a big thing. And Beeb has done a ton, you know, to keep keep people driving and and just keep it keep it going. And oh, Richard gosh. Raven. Okay, nice. Yeah. And, and me and you. And me and you. And we're just, you're going to take calls till 2.30. Till 2.30. Until the, I'll bet you it gets real interesting after about 1 o'clock. It does. It does. I can't wait. I'm staying. I'm, <laughs> I'm in it for the long haul, bro. <laughs> well, you're going to see some entertainment tonight. I'll I'm, tell you I'm what. all for it. I mean. I'm all for it. What, why'd you get involved in this? You know, I've had a couple of DUIs and some experiences in my life. And, you know, when I quit drinking, you know, Kevin's been a good friend of mine since he's moved here. And I just thought it was such a neat program. And it's been great therapy for me. You know, it's, I'm thinking of my old drinking days. And, you know, I'm still going to wake up early in the morning and I'm not going to have that hangover. Right. It's, uh, right. You know. Yeah. I mean, I in my drinking days, I should have had a few DUIs. So this is important to me, too. I have, I'm on almost... I'm a little over four years sober, and uh, and I mean, during my time of drinking, I made some bad decisions of getting behind the wheel, and I regret that, obviously, but at yeah. the same time, now I'm going to do everything I can to help people exactly. you know, not do it. This February, I'll hit 21 years without a drop. So. Oh, boy. So, so with... Uh, with Loveland, um, how do you guys, what do you guys do, like, outside of, you know, obviously you advertise with us for Loveland Safe Ride through the Cody Bowen show, but outside of that, how do, how do you get the word out? Just put put something at the bars that everybody already knows, Yeah, huh? there, the bars. There's, actually, there's a flyer right above you that's passed out to every bar, every uh, location tonight. Uh, it has our phone number, everything like that on there. It's, you know... Uh, we put it on our Facebook page, and it's just so amazing how many people share this. You know, Loveland Safe Rides out. 
I mean, I, I kind of manage the level on Facebook page for Safe Ride, and I'm just impressed on how many people are out there and they share this. Yeah. Maybe I'll get us a couple more calls. It will. Probably will. It, it usually right about 12:15. Phones usually go off the hook. Yeah, it's 11:31 right yeah. now, so we're so, we're getting close. What we do a lot of times, this the slower times, we drive around. You know, people see us driving by the bars. Yeah, and, and they, they know you're out. Exactly. There we go. Boom. You want to call for a ride? Yep. Yeah. How are we doing tonight, ladies? I'm good, thank you. How are you guys? Well, just another entertaining night. Yay. Do you mind being on camera? It's fine. So how was your evening? It was good. great. How Smells was like it was really good. Oh yeah, gosh, I'm sorry. We have to up the car. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you girls go to college here or what do you do? No, I work at a bank. I'm a CNA at the nursing home here. How'd you hear about this? From the bartender or? Safe ride, huh? <laughs> yeah. She told me. How'd you hear about it? <laughs> she no, told me. I, I used to be a caregiver for Kevin Loveland's mom. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, nice. so I heard about it from her. Awesome. <laughs> and I looked it up, and Beautiful. so that's how I knew about it. Okay. Well, I'd rather see you this way and instead, you know, I, I do the removal side also for Kevin, so uh, that's. I'm glad you guys are taking a smart choice and no. a good ride home. Totally. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what we were thinking too. Like, I'm scared. It's not worth it. Yeah. No, it's it's totally not. Is homie here security? Homie here works for EO Alive. I do a show. I do a show with Cody Bowen once a month called Keeping It Clear with Cody Bowen on TV. He's the sheriff. He's the sheriff. Yeah. And he's one of my good friends. And he sponsors. Loveland Safe Ride sponsors that show. What's that on the dash? What? The tip jar. Uh oh. I'm just staying off camera. That's all I gotta say. You actually aren't on camera right now, man. No, it's Thank just all God. me. I squared myself up, too. Yeah. Yeah. Give a shit. Amazing. <laughs> what are they gonna do? What are you gonna do with the footage? Just make a promo for the show. <laughs> what show? Great. The show that I do with Cody. Cody, what? Cody Bowen, Bowen, the sheriff. Sheriff? Uh, the about sheriff. what? Yeah, about what's, the he, what's, what's he gonna do the show about? He's gonna it, it's a, memorize it's a, your face, and like next time he sees you, he's gonna arrest you. No. <laughs> Do I look like I tell on people? <laughs> like really? On camera, yeah. he says. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he just got out of prison two years ago. He doesn't even have a valid driver's license. I mean, that's why he's. That's right why he's oh, yeah. that's, right? that's a real. That's a real one. <laughs> that's yeah. a real one validation. You're leaving. Yeah, they're I mean, going to drive fine. me back to Benji's. That's fine. Bench warmers is closed, huh? It's one o'clock. Yeah. Long Branch is open. Well, Somebody's the... peeking out the door like a... Little, little dog. Oh, that's a dog. I thought that was somebody like all paranoid. Jerry, get the f*** out of that car so you can give me a hug. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> that's funny. All right, so that's going to basically conclude the evening. You guys got to see a few rides and got to see kind of what goes on with uh, Loveland Safe Ride. Um, Jerry, I appreciate it, man. It well, a good time, man. We uh, almost hit a deer. Yeah, we almost hit a deer. We but, did. But, you know, me being a professional driver like I am, <laughs> I mean... Yeah, Thank God we had a pro behind the uh, wheel. Exactly. We had a full six inches before we was going to hit that Dude, thing. That, yeah, that was close. At 55 miles an hour. I didn't have the camera on when it happened, but we were on our way out to Hot Lake, and uh, uh, we were talking, and boom, a deer jumped right out in front of us. And, I mean, it was, it, was, it was close. It was a close call. <laughs> but beef saved the day. <laughs> um, yeah, we appreciate you guys, man, a lot. And it, this means a lot to... I mean the community, I'm sure, but it means a lot to me too. I hope you know that. Right. I mean, I, I'm I'm a hundred percent supporter of of Love Them Safe Ride to to the bone. Like if you guys ever need any help with anything, just holler, man. I'm, well, I'm here. That's appreciated. We love our community, you know. And it's like I said, you can come for a ride along anytime. It was fun. Yeah, it's uh, it was fun actually. I had a good time. Mm -hmm.